Uh, now this is our restaurant, and there was a grocery store, and this is another restaurant we own, Dago. And we used to live upstairs of the of the first restaurant. Was that right here at the waterfront? Right here. Yes. Yeah. We used to be. You see that wharf over there? Uh -huh. is, is this second? I see. Yeah. I see. Too. So the idea was to to look how it was in the old days, and then that's what it is now. So around the turn of the century, around 1900, this was called Rattlesnake Island. And um, basically, it was a resort on the southern end called Brighton Beach, and people used to come for, on the summer, and there was a big fancy hotel, and people would come in summer here. And on the other end of the island, more towards where the prison is now, it was kind of a, an enclave for artists, what we call hippie today. And so they would build little shanties there, and they were painters, photographers, writers, very famous people during the turn of the century, and they would have a, a shanty there. Then, um, the central part of Terminal Island, or Rattlesnake Island, became inhabited with Japanese people from Wakayama, Japan, and they were fishermen. And so, by the time uh, World War II came, I think there were about 3,000 Japanese um, people living here in Terminal Island. They are very successful in the fishing industry. Um, There's like 250 fishing boats owned by the Japanese. Uh, uh, very, all that. very lucrative. The women worked in the canneries. The men had fishing boats. Uh, the men were gone a lot of the time. And so um, there was a very distinct feminine twist to the way they spoke Japanese. They grew up learning Japanese with a more feminine, um, what would you say? kind of dialect than they would have if they were in Japan because they were raised by their mothers. The other thing, it was sort of like a beach all the way around and many of the kids went to school without shoes on. The soil was very sandy and... Um, Where was the school? Where did you go to school from? Uh, it's further down, a little deeper. So but when you to get there? Oh, no. to the junior high and high school, yes. Uh, you know, where the... Uh, uh -huh. Oh, it's a little bit further uh, toward the left side. Um, you had to row a boat to school boat. every day? Huh? You had to row a we boat? We had to, yeah, the, the bridge wasn't there at that time. Wow, how long did that take you? <laughs> <laughs> we walked from home up to the, you know, it didn't... It yeah, was a ferry. It was, it was a, a ferry. ferry. Oh, it was a ferry. Oh. Oh. So they took the ferry to get to San Pedro mainland and went, then walked to middle school and then high school. But so, Evelyn, why do you know all of this? I'm um, doing research on the development of the Los Angeles Harbor, and I think docents for the Banning Museum. What do you The Banning Museum, Residence Museum in Wilmington, and he's the founder of the Los Angeles Harbor. And you'll be glad to know he's from Wilmington, Delaware, hence Wilmington is named Wilmington. Uh, he was the ninth of 11 children of a gentleman farmer. He went to work in Philadelphia for his brother, who was an attorney. He was a law clerk for about three years. He didn't like working at a desk, but he started to work at the harbor, which was close by. And he was asked to accompany a, a ship, a shipment of pottery to California. And he an adventurous 19-year-old And um, after Pearl Harbor, they, asked, they took all the leaders away of the Japanese community, which included all of our OG towns, you know, if they were prominent in business or in, in the community, and left all the Obachans, our grandmothers, with the children to relocate within 48 hours, and um, they could only take a suitcase of their belongings with them. Did you live <coughs> above the restaurant, with your house yes. above the restaurant? Yes. There's a, uh, There's here a picture is, of it. This is our restaurant, the whole big restaurant here. And where are you? Right okay. here. And then this is a grocery store, and this is another restaurant, Mio Cafe. So my dad started off this way, the small one, and then he bought this big one. So then we used to live upstairs here, and then all the workers, the restaurant workers, lived up here. This is that, that restaurant that you saw over there. Picture. Of Are you in there? And all the way, yes, I'm here. Let's see. 
this is me right, right here, and he kills there. Wow. So roughly what year is that? Thirty five, yeah, probably. Twelve years old. Yeah. So is this yeah, the second so. one or the first one? This is the second one. The bigger one. And so did you have other family living upstairs here? Yes, also? all these workers lived upstairs. Okay. And then oh this is a Chino family. This is my mother's uh, sister. They were struggling in Utah doing farming and they uh, you know, called them over so that uh, they can eat at least. <laughs> yeah. So they they lived upstairs too, and the workers. So it was a pretty big big place. So then your upstairs. family lived next door upstairs. Uh, two doors down. Two yes, doors upstairs. down. Okay, so they were not contiguous the the buildings. They were not next to each other. No, it wasn't. We used to run back and forth <laughs> mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. help out. And so, did you work in the store? Oh yes. Oh yes. So starting After at what school, age? Uh, hmm. uh, from junior high probably yeah. we came came home and took put our aprons on and started doing the dishes uh -huh. piles uh -huh. and piles of dishes. <laughs> so you know they didn't have dishwashers at that time. <laughs> so was it a, a restaurant? It I mean it's a, a cafe, but were they both uh, yeah, restaurants? Did you have a both. market too? Did you sell fish? No. No. Now uh, one I, I'm try, I tried to I didn't do a good job of it, but I tried to come up with some questions based on your little essay. Where were the Filipino folk? They live on Terminal Island too? There's there's an, was, yes, were, further away. You have to take the bus <coughs> and it, it's a little about mm -hmm, further away. And mostly they uh, they live over there. Mm -hmm. And they call it Terminal Way. It's a little, a little bit. But it was still on Terminal Island. Yes. Because you wrote that um, after the war they really uh, discriminated against the Japanese, yeah. um, but uh, at least the Caucasians and the Japanese, at least for a little while, continued to, uh -huh. to uh, support your businesses at that time until you went away. Well, we had to <laughs> mm -hmm. leave. No, no, I know, I know that, but of course it is. <laughs> but the, the Filipino were customers of your of your they were, places yes, before, they were. and then after Pearl Harbor Day, they basically. Yeah.